My name's Sam Whalen. I've been homeless for 23 years. I'm here by the sea, having a bonfire. What's grabbing my attention right now is the fact that the hostel room I've been in for the last eight years has had to be vacated in order that an infestation of bedbugs from Spain can be dealt with. I was born into a comfortable middle-class family. I have letters after my name. I have a lectureship in music. I'm currently selling the big issue, playing gigs, and campaigning for homeless people. Here we go, Nanook of the North. Right. <clears throat> I'll say so long for now. Big slogan, working, not begging. There we go. Right on, right on with the policies. Bye for now. See you, sir. Today we're going to Bonnie Rig Market. It's a small mining town, um, Bonnie Rig. It's about eight or nine miles out of Edinburgh. <clears throat> Very quiet place. And on Thursdays, when the magazine comes out, they have a street market, which is quite well attended by local people and people from Edinburgh. Me, I, I, I get by quite often on skip food, it's, it's quite fun. I remember one time I found 168 burgers. Uh, they'd been put out by a supermarket, they were past their date, but they were, they were thawing out. I think it took me about eight days to get through them. I didn't have a fridge, so what can I do? Just shut them in the pan and under the grill, and, and that's that, yeah. You get a bit fed up with them after that amount of time, but it stopped them going to waste after all. It's not raining and that's a good sign. There's a saying that if it rains in the morning, then some people don't go out all day, so the sales can be quite, can be quite low. One gentleman explained to me in some detail why it was he felt that the, the magazine was no longer worth uh, the cover price, and that's been a bit of a surprise because that's the first person to object since uh, the, the price has <clears throat> gone up. But uh, yeah, I've taken what he says to heart. <laughs> We're now in a church hall in Bonnie Rig. And this is run by the good folk of the town and money that's raised goes towards such things as church restoration and the likes. I tend to look here on a Thursday to pick up the odd item here and there. There's some very good books and some excellent items uh, all round really. I, I got a bicycle from here a while ago and uh, was quite pleased about that. Well, I think Sam's quite different from the, your usual homeless person. For a start, I don't believe he does drugs or anything like that. And he's a very intelligent man. He's, he's, he's well read and uh, he's, he's very, what's the word, eloquent, articulate, articulate. Yeah, that's the word, yeah. I think if you sleep rough and such, you've got to be quite practical. Designer clothes, yeah, might be very good, but they, they're not necessarily going to be very hard wearing if you're, if you're sleeping rough and the likes. Best to be quite practical and best too, considering the way in which things can disappear or sometimes get pinched, best not to, uh, to have stuff that's too valuable on you. So you, you kind of learn these things as you, as you go along really. Issues, get your issues. Helping Scotland's homeless. That's right folks. Help remove unsightly people like me from the streets of this beautiful capital city when you buy a copy of The Big Issue. Well, trying to keep yourself presentable is quite difficult. Staying fed uh, and keeping your mind intact. Um, even simple things like uh, getting out of a chair, um, switching off a light and opening a door and leaving a room. If you can't do those kind of things on a day-to-day -day basis, then your mind can start to disintegrate. So holding on to your mental health is one thing. I try and preserve my humanity and will always take time out to speak to folk because really in the homeless scene you've got to be pretty much people-centred in all of this to get through it.
Here we go, the bike station, front entrance. Finest bicycle recycling project in the whole of Edinburgh. It's a community project with, uh, it's a registered charity. All the bikes that you see here, given to us by the public, we essentially fix them up, recycle them, get them back out onto the street being used again. Uh, that's in essence what the bike station is all about, to stop all this lot ending up buried in a landfill site. Well, homeless people who haven't got much money are able to come along and if they do their 24 hours volunteering, then at the end of that 24 hours of volunteering, they can then take away a bike of their choice from the ones that are around here. Involvement with Sam. Sam came to us back in the early days to earn a bike as part of our earn a bike scheme for volunteers. Um, came along, got into the project, fixed himself a bike up, um, helped out quite a lot with the project and is now quite heavily involved on the committee of the project which steers where we go, what we do. It looks, uh, it looks quite different to the bike that uh, I started out with when I first uh, joined this uh, outfit. Mine was a, a racing bike, wasn't it? I managed to get it canary coloured yellow and then I think um, I think I, I got given a bike, didn't I? Yes, and began pedalling around on on that. I think recycling is very important. I think so very much stuff gets wasted that uh, there risks coming a point when some things just get used up completely. I've recently started scavenging or salvaging wood from uh, skips and making small items of furniture here and there. I find that's quite, quite a handy thing to be doing. Uh, buy one and amaze your friends. Buy two and they'll think there's something wrong with you. Hurry, hurry while stocks last. Issues. Get your issues. What I do is uh, I, I help people out with a loan and I make a note of it. And when they can return it, they can on an interest-free uh, interest basis. Um, and if it needs renegotiating and the time needs putting putting further forward then I can do that and sure on occasions um, I, I, I write sums of money off. How many loans have you got out at the moment? Oh goodness me I haven't count 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 150, 150 or so. Oh. I'm not a very prosperous person myself. Um, six, seven, maybe eight hundred pounds. With some people I have a fairly regular thing going, um, you know, a few pounds here, a few pounds there, and they see me all right the next week or so. In general, I hope the money is going to a good place. Sometimes I've found out after the event that um, there's a chance that, that some of it may have been used to buy uh, harmful drugs, and I haven't really liked it when I've discovered that that has happened. Uh, I might perhaps to other people, appear to be a, a bit of a, a simpleton where money is concerned but it's um, yeah it, it's all right with me that I'm perhaps viewed in that way and it's all right with me that sometimes I have to write stuff off.